I'm about to do something potentially very stupid. I got this very rare, very expensive Bluetooth Pip-Boy on eBay, but the problem with it is it's stuck on the boot screen, like the good majority of these, because it has a software issue, or at least some type of issue. But I have theory, well, it's not really my theory, I stole it from some guy on Reddit, that if I take this apart and replace the battery, I can get it working again. The stupid part being taking this apart, because I could very possibly completely ruin it, but I am hoping to find a solution and a way to fix these things. As far as I know, that guy's theory has not been proven yet. I'm going to attempt to prove it. Here I am taking out the backup battery. It's just a little like button watch battery. Um, I point to where it came from and I'm going to just replace it. I have replaced the battery. Um, I'm going to turn it on now. I got it all back together. I'm really, really hoping this works because otherwise I am more or less out of ideas. Come on. After doing a little bit more digging, I found another potential solution. Apparently, if you let the battery drain, it will completely reset and has a chance of fixing it. Um, I really hope this works because I'm having to go through more pages of Google than I ever had to try to find answers. Um, so hopefully we're able to fix it. No idea how long the charge lasts on this thing. I have been charging it for the last, like, eight hours probably, so it might take a bit, but hopefully... When I turn it back on, it will be good, hopefully. I let the battery die and then turn it back on and it didn't work. Here I got really excited because I thought it was starting to boot, but turns out I was just moving the charger, which was causing it to lose power and turn off. This is about a week later. I ordered a new main battery and it is now here. Here is the old battery and here is the new one. They are the exact same, but I'm hoping that this will do something. I am not an electronic genius, if you can't already tell, but I'm hoping this will do something. Something I noticed with these two batteries is the red and the black are actually like different on each one. I don't know why. There's like swapped around. Um, I'm hoping that's not a bad thing and this isn't wired wrong and isn't about to start a fire in my house. Um, like I said earlier, I'm not a genius. So we're just gonna plug it in for hope for the best. Uh, do not try this at home, please. This is a very stupid idea, but I am a very stupid person. Okay, so we have a new backup and main battery installed in this thing. I'm really hoping that'll do something. Um, the main battery is hanging out here just because I don't fully trust it and if it starts to like smoke or something I can easily take it out or turn this thing off. Um, you know, if I put it all back together it would be really hard to get to it in an event of something bad happening. Um, all right. Moment of truth. Oh. Oh wait, the battery's dead. Hold on. So I did quite a bit of testing off camera and it turns out that it did matter that these two are switched. Um, all I had to do was flip up these little tabs and just change the position of the wires to reverse the polarity. I ended up putting it in and testing it out and it didn't work again. Um, I don't really have any other ideas for solutions. There's not a ton of information you can find uh, because there's not a lot of people trying to do what I'm trying to do right now. Um, but if anyone else has any more ideas on how I could possibly get this thing working, please, please let me know. Because I'm trying to figure out a solution for this, and I have not yet. Um, I'm hoping that I can make another one of these and have it working. So if you have any ideas at all on how I could get this fixed, please let me know. You're, ugh. Before I end this, there are quite a few people I want to mention that helped me uh, figure out these solutions to try, uh, even though none of them ended up working. Um, there were two Reddit posts... One from someone who had theirs miraculously start working, and another about what could possibly cause the boot error or something with a backup battery. 
I also used quite a few YouTube videos. There was one about replacing the backup battery, but it was only in French. So I went in line by line, Google translated every single line. Um, there was also a guy that I found in quite a few YouTube comments on some old videos that said he was working on making a solution. He was going to make a big video to try to fix the problem. And uh, as far as I know, he never ended up making the video. I've checked on his channel. I've tried to find other comments from him, but it appears that he never ended up actually making anything. So if any of you people are still out there or just anyone that has an idea, please let me know because I would love to get this thing working and be able to show it off and hopefully offer a solution for other people who have this same problem and are trying to fix theirs.